The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome to a very special edition of the Power Trading Hour. What makes it special? You and here, you and here, you and I are here at the same time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And what a day a difference makes. And uh, yeah, I was right and I was wrong. And we'll talk about that today. Uh, I was expecting something slightly different. Uh, but uh, we got the signal nonetheless. And it wasn't just a, uh, a kind of a signal where you see a bird fly by and you think it's a lucky. Uh, we saw one of the biggest signals yesterday um, that I think I've ever seen in the market. And uh, if you weren't paying attention, you would have missed it. And it, I'm not talking about so much the uh, the sell-off into the close, although that was fairly good. I'm talking about something slightly different. But uh, we'll get to the sit rep here. A few things before we get started with that. Uh, Facebook is on 60 Minutes uh, Sunday night after the um, House panel uh, asked uh, questions yesterday. Uh, 60 Minutes and some of the other folks came out with a whistleblower who uh, may have a bunch of uh, internal memos that uh, say that uh, maybe Facebook was doing the exact same thing that the uh, tobacco folks were doing years ago. And that is uh, they had all the inside info. They knew exactly what was going on, uh, but we're lying to everybody, including Congress. So we'll find out. Um, they push some s'more uh, small or some uh, smuck up there to uh, take the uh, the slings and arrows of the questioning from both sides yesterday but uh, generally Facebook uh, when you get in front of uh, 60 minutes uh, probably not a good thing so keep an eye on that when we come back Monday morning maybe they'll land the glove maybe they won't also, Hollywood votes on, uh, starts to vote on today, goes through uh, tomorrow, I think, from what I read. Uh, so we should know Monday whether or not uh, a lot of uh, all the background folks, not the uh, actors, uh, are going on strike. And that would affect everybody that uh, has streaming services. Uh, so keep an eye on that. A lot of people thought that, uh, that since they delayed the vote for a handful of days, uh, that that meant that they didn't have the votes. Uh, I wasn't too sure about it. But uh, from the inside uh, scoop out there, um, yeah, they probably have the votes. So uh, look for uh, maybe a little less streaming stuff coming your way uh, in a, whatever it is. It takes six months to get stuff done. So maybe by Christmas, uh, maybe a little after, maybe there isn't a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, last night, uh, as I said, uh, we got one of the biggest signals of all times, uh, and that was a reverse repo to the Fed. Now, back in May, I want to say the 23rd, can't remember. Anyway, uh, the, the mother of all uh, reverse repos uh, was three times bigger than the one in May where everybody freaked out about it. Uh, this was uh, taking uh, the same kind of uh, bond vigilantism, uh, but uh, on the equity side of the market and uh, taking it uh, with a, which eh, the money that we were talking about is really a 12 gauge shotgun, maybe a 10 gauge shotgun uh, and aiming it at everybody that continued to go down a path the market did not like. Anyway, a uh, trillion and a half dollars in the last hour of the day yesterday went into reverse repos i went into it a little bit it's also confusing it gives me a headache bringing it up it's kind of like anything that has to do with quantum uh, physics 
Uh, if your head hurts after uh, talking about it for five minutes, or if it doesn't hurt, then you probably are not getting any of it. It's going to make your mind warp. It's like uh, eh, probably taking LSD, then getting drunk, and then probably smoking some more marijuana, and then watching Inception. Maybe that, that's a maybe you watch Inception and then do the drugs later. Either way, my point is valid. The mother of all repos yesterday, that money um, can be left in overnight and then recovered back today. My thought was that if the things went the other way, then uh, uh, heads uh, the people with the equities that decided to use them as uh, instruments to get cash overnight from uh, the Fed uh, was going to be uh, or was the telling point. We were either going to blow up this morning or not. Now, uh, since I saw that, I ended up uh, for the second night not really doing much other than sleeping for about two hours. So uh, from since Wednesday, I've got about four hours of total sleep at 4 uh, p.m. this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to say 4.01, I'm going to be asleep. Uh, but I uh, was up... Uh, uh, trying to buy some lows at 2.30 in the morning in the den. I can't even remember. Uh, like I said, I'm a little punch drunk from uh, being up. Um, decided to uh, figure that we probably found some kind of low. Got out at the open, waited again, uh, got uh, most of my subscribers in. I started sending out uh, the newsletter updates, I think about 10.45. Um, most of everybody should have probably gotten them by 11, hopefully. Uh, and that was uh, pretty much what we were looking for, that trillion and a half dollars that got parked, uh, probably coming in over the next few days. We've got fun buying. Um, I thought maybe, of course, that it would be a big move in the bond market. It was not. Uh, they figured uh, probably the easiest way was just make a big splash in the repo market and hedge their bets rather than go ahead and sell their bond market. TLT 144.74, not great. It is up 61 cents on the day. Uh, but uh, I suspect that that's going to always be uh, kind of the sort of Damocles held over the uh, uh, Washington, D.C. big tax and spend crowd uh, as we go forward because uh, uh, there was just a few things that people freaked out about yesterday. One was a uh, the press uh conference and a few other people uh, saying that spending five and a half trillion dollars uh, was not going to be anything like spending five and a half trillion dollars. So probably one of the most absurd statements ever to come out of a, a politician's mouth. I'm going to spend five and a half trillion, but you know what? It's all it's just flat. It doesn't matter. Nothing's going to happen. Uh, that is what I think brought uh, everybody to their senses um, a little bit later in the evening last night and this morning. Uh, but, uh, again, I think it was about two 30 again, I'm about half in the bag. Um, so, uh, well, no, but I think we found a low lest, uh, anybody come back and start talking about a lot more spending. I think we probably got a low in for the fall. I don't know how much is up. But I think we have a, probably the best risk reward came in at about 1045, maybe a little bit more than 1030 on some stocks as late as 1130 on some others. But uh, good time to get long. Are you grinding in the market but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And as we return, uh, and probably going to see a little bit of people try to take a little money at the close today. But uh, I think we're in and good. Uh, close above 30, excuse me, 43.60 on the S&P cash would be a very good signal uh, that we at least have a midterm low end through, uh, through the end of the year. Um, a lot of what uh, happened could probably be blamed on sector rotation, looking for a faster horse. Uh, but uh, a lot of it could be, you know, based on the headlines over the last week or so, uh, where the market really, truly did not like what was going on. Uh, you can debate the rightness or wrongness of it, but the market uh, will go and uh, do what is best for it. Um, financially, and uh, they were uncool uh, with um, a lot more spending. Um, and for the most part, probably that is going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to say, probably not uh, brought back up again until next year, maybe in January or something when they all come back. So I think we've got a little bit of respite on that. We can go back to worrying uh, about all the other stuff we were worrying about before. Um, gold uh, up another two bucks today. Not a lot of follow through. You'd like some follow through in the next couple of days. Uh, and uh, that's about it. We've got a lot of other stuff going on. Let's do a little history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1890, an act of Congress creates Yosemite National Park, and of course, my favorite cartoon character, Yosemite Sam. Uh, not at the same time, though. Home of such natural wonders as Half Dome and the giant sequoia trees, environmental trace, uh, trailblazer John Muir and his colleagues campaigned for the congressional action, which was signed into law by President Benjamin Harrison and paved the way for generations of hikers, campers, and nature lovers to be eaten by bears. And, of course, a lot of don't feed the bear signs. But uh, eh, occasionally Congress does some stuff that's pretty good. On this day in 1890, eh, got a nice park. 
Uh, other things going on, as we said, uh, we're going to start looking at some of these stocks that should have bottomed today. So we're going to go through and look and see if we've got any good reversal signals. Um, you know, is it uh, is it a tweezer bottom? No. Uh, but Adobe coming off of uh, the mark of the devil, 666 uh, and 47 cents back here on September 16th. Um, it's been kind of down since then. Um, you're at least starting to find some levels where you might find some support. Uh, there may be just a little bit more pain to go in these. Uh, you'd love to see 560 on Adobe. I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see some of these big cap uh, stocks that a lot of people, or a lot of people, a lot of the street names probably were getting out of to get a faster horse for the fall and, and into Christmas. Uh, keep an eye on, but they may be good for a bounce uh, to, to there were some other stocks out here. I don't know about this one. Maybe someone who knows more about it than me, but I like the chart pattern out here. And this is our Venus. Don't know what they do. I guess I could look it up. In fact, I probably ought to do it right now and see. Uh, do I see? Eh, there we go. Clinical stage biopharma companies. And eh, maybe that is not as good a low as I thought. Um, but it looks pretty good. You got 154,000 uh, compared to 360,000 uh, uh, about a month ago. And uh, now that's, of course, going into this gap that had 2.8 million shares back on the 22nd. Uh, this is a very nice long-term basing pattern. Um, I'd have to find out more about them. Biotech makes it a little hard to trade sometimes. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for a good pattern, that's what I love. You get first uh, reversal, you get uh, uh, some decent volume. But then you come back and all the volume just dries up, which is what we've seen over the last couple of days. That's what I love. Give me a call, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfn.com. Uh, Brinks Company, uh, another one. Um, a lot of these things may just have some temporary bounces in them. I would have loved to seen this thing down at $57 if you wanted to buy it or you were covering uh, the top. But there are two really good gaps at, at 57 which suggests that after this gets up here, um, this one, though, does look like before the end of the day, it could close above the three by three, which means you might get a fairly decent bounce if you're waiting to get out of that. Uh, Beck and Dickinson uh, got down to 24092s, uh, almost got all of it back. That's back into the support area. 800,000 where you were getting uh, and two and a half million shares before uh, in candles in that time frame. Big trading range uh, back up to 264 on it. Uh, Beam, uh, this one a little doji out here, Beam Therapeutics. Um, volume's a little better than I would like, or a little more than I would like. Uh, Bayozin, uh, this one really didn't do much today. It's continuing to move lower. Uh, CERN, uh, least back into the trading range of yesterday. Uh, the nice thing is you've got half the volume you had in that candle yesterday. Still no turn back over uh, the three by three on that one. Uh, Care Trust, this one looks like it's going to close back above it. Um, you know, not a lot of money in that one, uh, but uh, it does show you that the, the trend has changed for it. Decker's Outdoor uh, got down to uh, 352.01 this morning. Uh, it's back into the trading range of yesterday. May take a couple more days for some of these stocks uh, to uh, take the turn with it. Uh, okay. Um, other things. Uh, what else did I see this morning that made me feel like going long? Uh, I said it to one of the people in the den, and that is I've been getting people all week long, probably 20, 25 mess uh, messages uh, either at, after the bell or before the morning. Uh, can I buy? Can I buy? Can I buy? Can I buy? And this morning was the first one that I, I saw where no one was wanting to buy. 
So that kind of uh, that generally kind of is a good signal uh, when everybody kind of gives up um, and the, the patience is worn out by uh, a lot of folks. Uh, generally makes me want to take the opposite side of that. But that was one of the other things I saw interesting this day. Uh, we looked at Decker's EVRG, Evergy. Yeah, you did have a nice thing. You're back in the trading range. Again, I think this when we're saying this is the low, I'm not saying that all the stocks probably based out. Um, but uh, you know what? You got some of these things out here that if you just looked at the chart and, and ignored the company like GameStop, you'd have to say that if I was short this thing, I'd want to be out. I'll be back in a minute. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And uh, as we look at uh, GameStop, those shorted stocks, um, just have to keep an eye out on these things. I'm not advocating uh, and certainly not holding anything like this overnight, but you know, if you were lucky enough to get short this thing and make a, a quick 60 bucks, I would be out here. Uh, go. Uh, starting to buck the trend of the downtrend here. It's right at it for the high of the day, but there's no volume. Uh, so you want to keep an eye on that. Like I said, I think 
Um, I added a couple in the daily newsletter today. I'll probably be, as these things start to turn, I'll start adding uh, more across the week. But I don't think that there's a whole lot out here that says that we're probably going to go lower. Um, you know, maybe something else happens. But uh, I think everything's pretty much set. I think this is the washout. That uh, There are a lot of factors in it, uh, shortages and stuff like that. But I think we're probably pretty close to getting all that stuff priced in. Uh, GPM, another one out here that's uh, interesting. Uh, not quite turn it. This is the Enhanced Equity Income Fund. Uh, about there. IEA, the Infrastructure and Energy Alternatives. Um, this has got a nice long-term uh, base out here. What do you have for volume today? 221,000 uh, back into the May 11th low. Um, what else do we have? Uh, now, this one actually has turned today. It does look like it's going to get a good close. So you're probably going to get a fairly decent rip next week. Um, probably want it to come back and retest the lows no matter what. But uh, this is LBRDK, Liberty Broadband. Uh, but, uh, eh, looks like it's up on a bad hair day. Uh, as far as ones that maybe have blown off a top, uh, Neo Node, N-E-O-N. Um, he had some big volume at $12.42 on September 29th. Just kind of going sideways here. Uh, but that's it. Uh, yeah. We got about that. NSTG. Uh, this one looks like it's about ready to come back. Nano String Technologies. NSTG. Right at where it needs to do. Now, it may take, a, like I said, a handful of days for these things to start turning up next week. Uh, but fun buying, uh, of course, on Monday. Um, I suspect there's going to be a lot of money coming in. And not only the usual suspects, but the what we're probably going to see are, are a lot of new stocks that everybody has gotten into this week uh, that they think are going to be the faster horses uh, than what we've seen in the big uh, tech cap space. I uh, got a question from uh, Ronald about Microsoft. Uh, what do I think about that? Um, same kind of thing. You really just pull back. What, uh, 25 bucks off the high. Um, the interesting thing is um, that uh, Windows 11 starts shipping next week. About only half of the existing uh, desktops out there actually can use it with a trusted platform module. But uh, keep an eye on that. Make sure and get your, if you're going to put Windows 11 on it, get your trusted platform module. That'll help you out a whole lot with security. Uh, but um, on this, I suspect um, maybe another on Monday, you could see this back up into 292, maybe as high as 295. Then it'll probably have to base out for a while. I don't see anything that changes anything in the uh, outrageous uh, uh, profit uh, that Microsoft's going to see in the near future. Uh, Pinnacle West Capital just ticking above the 3 by 3 today. So, like I said, a lot of these are going to get one or two or three days of a decent bounce just being oversold. Um, PSNL just closing over. Not a lot of money in that one. Uh, QTNT, a wonderful reversal out here today. Quotient Limited, QN, uh, QTNT, he said. And it was, uh, just so I remind myself of what these guys do. Commercial Stage Diagnostic Company develops, manufactures, commercializes, and sells uh, products for the global transfusion diagnostic markets in the United States, France, Germany, and internationally. Well, isn't that internationally already? The company is developing uh, Mosk IQ, a proprietary technology platform which tests for uh, all kinds of stuff. Molecular disease screening, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I hope I don't end up sounding like that uh, girl from uh, Norway or what. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, you can't fix that. 
Um, QTT, nothing on that one so far. I'm kind of looking at a lot of these ones that are washed out. Uh, Wrap Therapeutics, um, back into the trading range. That uh, Kind of a question here from uh, uh, Angie, and she says, uh, uh, how does this actually make a bottom? And generally, um, I will go back to some of the biggest uh, uh, bottoms that we've ever had. I remember in the S&P, I think we were at about 675, and it was time to go long. This had to be like 2003, I think. And um, I was talking to Tim Ward at the time. And Tim said, you know what? They're probably not going to believe any of this for a month or two. And then once they start believing it, then the market's really going to take off. But you're going to make a whole lot of money uh, just sitting on your hands. And I thought, oh, that's kind of an interesting idea. And swear to God, uh, the market, I think, went from 675 in the S&P to about 1050 before anybody believed it. So, yeah, there is that kind of thing where uh, after people have been kind of kicked in the teeth a few times, as they have been this week, that uh, they are fairly shy. But that's generally where the money's made. Um, and uh, what I love to see is a whole lot of shorting going on in the first part of next week uh, to help the market get up in even faster. If we continue to see very light shorting, that may be a good indication that I'm a little bit wrong. We may still have a bounce for fund buying, which will go through Wednesday. So I don't see anything or I don't see a lot of risk uh, until maybe Thursday of next week. Uh, okay. Uh, and what else do we have here? Uh, Rubius, eh, a lot of biotechs out in this space here. Now, if you want a good looking chart, um, we'll see what these guys do. And I'm sure they're biotech. Um, clinical stage biopharma company focused on development of red cell therapeutics with severe diseases. Treatment of cancer, treatment, I guess, is probably. If you don't have any white blood cells, this has red blood cell therapeutics. Type you know, treating uh, uh, type one diabetes. Da da da. Been around since 2015. Been around for a while. This is a uh, good looking chart though. 3871 on March 15th. Huge volume. Long pullback on light volume. Back to the gap. Got a lot. Be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we come back, the uh, last big segment of the day, up 51 points on the S&P cash. Let me update that just to make sure. Um, one of the other things I thought, and I didn't think about it, uh, but it was uh, probably about 9.35 or 9.40 this morning during Tommy's show, was uh, a lot of reports of uh, lagging, uh, lagging uh, quotes. And that's always another good sign uh, that you got something ready to go because everybody's getting involved. Uh, that's always, you know, it, you may not like it why it's happening, but it's a good sign that everybody's either throwing in the towel or buying. Uh, generally, it's throwing in the towel. Uh, but keep an eye on that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm still at up 51. Uh, Passed about uh, 4360 on the S&P cash. I would not be surprised, uh, although I'm not predicting a huge run. Maybe we get the run on Monday, but I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we see something like a 4,400 print um, either shortly uh, after the open on Monday or a uh, or a before and pre-market. So, uh, you know, we get above that uh, 4,360 area on the S&P cash. There's going to be a lot of people, I suspect, that short it on the close today. And that means you gap up. You can trap a lot of uh, shorts that have been on the – been to the uh, party with Cinderella. Everybody thinks they're going to leave at midnight. Uh, but uh, you know what? There's only so many way people can get out that door uh, at one before midnight. But uh, we'll see. But a lot of short sellers – and, of course, uh, what you need to do is get the short squeeze started today. Let those folks sw uh, sweat and then steam them uh, like a fine crab come Monday morning. Anyway, I'm fairly bullish at this point. I think we've had a good washout. Um, we didn't really talk a whole lot of, about volume, but uh, we will now. And already in the uh, – let me update this thing. Just to make sure here. Um, you know, when we pushed down this morning, we should have had something like right now, probably 12 billion shares or something. If we're going to blow out that low, we're doing about 7.7 .7 right now. So it's going to be a light volume day going through those uh, previous lows, blew them all out. I still think that there's a problem in the bond market. But uh, I think they're just going to sit there and hold that over everybody's head uh, until the danger goes away. But uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, other stocks. Uh, we've got a few more minutes here. Give me a call. 877-927-6648. Uh, okay. Now well, I can get my oil changed. That's a very interesting thing. Got another one. Um. Okay. Select medical holdings. This one actually eh, may have a nice run uh, to continue on that one. 
S L G N. What is this one here? Silig Silicon Holdings. Well, this one broke. It's not good. Um, this one actually, in a doji, could be the halfway down, move down to 34 bucks. Uh, profile. Normally, I can remember these things, but like I said earlier in the show, I have got four hours of sleep in the last two days, and uh, I don't remember much of anything. Sells rigid packaging for consumer good products. So I guess that continues just to be the shortage of uh, that everybody uh, is talking about in variety of things. But uh, they make packages for, uh, for everything. That's never a good long-term thing. But if it's uh, if you're not worried about something being packaged like dog food here in the United States, not a big deal. But that could go all the way back to 34 if that's the halfway move down. If that's the low, you, know, you see that gap up on Monday, then that's yet another good sign. Uh, question about Spotify. I added this to the list. Um, uh, with all the cancel culture going on now, uh, Jim asks uh, with Joe Rogan, uh, what's going on with Spotify and everything going on there? Uh, this kind of looks like an ABC on the way up for uh, it. I, you know, the core business is still sucky. Um, if they hadn't had the bizarre way of going public, uh, this thing would probably be a $20 stock. Uh, as far as Joe Rogan, I think uh, people like, you know, eh, there's the old story in headlines in the newspaper, and that is uh, Dog Bites Man. You know, that you're not going to get the top of the fold with that one. But uh, Man Bites Dog, yeah, you're going to get everybody um, watching. So I think anybody that probably talks against the uh, uh, popular culture today, uh, two, they don't have to worry about everybody carrying them on YouTube or Facebook or anything else. He's got his own island. Uh, one of the other guys that's kind of done the same thing as uh, him calls it the pirate ship. Um, they can uh, go fornicate themselves, uh, he says, generally. Uh, because I own everything. They can't take me off. They can't do anything to me. I can say anything I want. Um, and to extent, uh, Joe Rogan has that at Spotify. But uh, that's the big guy that they brought in, kind of like they brought in a big guy uh, for Sir Sirius XM Satellite. And that's held them uh, or helped them at least hold the, uh, the subscribership up. Um, some people debate whether or not if you're at, in kind of an island or a silo like that, uh, can you keep the interest up? But uh, I think there are enough people kind of going that way that uh, he'll do okay. Of course, he throws a Molotov cocktail every once in a while, and of course that just always brings more viewers like a lot of other folks. I think he's pretty sincere. But uh, eh, just having a, even a slight opinion other than the uh, papal view these days is enough to get you excommunicated. Um, Joe Rogan, probably a positive. The long-term business of Spotify, just I, I haven't seen anybody really make any money on music yet except uh, Apple. And, of course, they made it by destroying music the old-fashioned way. Uh, other things, uh, Target out here. Let's take a look at that one real quick. Again, uh, I was talking earlier in the week about how many things I saw in stores that are missing. Uh, this one does look like you could have a very nice candle um, starting for next week going into Christmas. You know, you're 230. Could you get back up to the highs by Christmas? Really depends on whether or not we turn things around in the shipping part of it. But, yeah, I think this thing's always done well in October, November, seasonally well, uh, all the way through January. Um, yeah, you could see uh, 260 again in Target. Uh, but, again, we're going to have to get through a few of these hiccups uh, with shortages for TV. Uh, okay. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, TKC. It's actually a fairly nice low out here, going back into the March 31st low with 1.6 million shares uh, with about uh, 600,000. So uh, that looks good. T K 
Okay. See, we'll be back in a bit. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we wrap up uh, the week and the show, get ready for Tom O'Brien for uh, the next hour. Um, that's it. We're going to have a nice weekend. Uh, got a question from, uh, uh, who is this, Janet? About the SMHs. And uh, the question about what I think here. You had uh, 6 million shares, so a high volume thrust uh, on uh, July 19th. You had a slightly lighter 4.5 million share thrust on August 19th that Dwight didn't get down there. Now you had a 3 million share uh, thrust today uh, that's back into the trading range. So you're kind of at the very bottom of this up channel that continues to go. And the thrusts haven't gotten bigger. They've gotten smaller. Uh, again, if they can get a little or a few of these uh, problems uh, sorted out with supply, uh, my guess is fairly good through the end of the year. Great next year. Um, I think that the, that if they say it's going to last a year, probably last six months, there's just too much money to be made uh, in most products in the semiconductor base uh, business. I know when we looked at General Motors, of course, they said that their unit production in the last quarter was down 48 percent because it couldn't get a lot of this stuff. But again, that's fairly inexpensive stuff 
at least on the semiconductor side, not a lot of people making money. If you sell for something for a buck, the most you can get is a buck. If you uh, sell something like what I want, which is a $700 video card from NVIDIA that you can't get at all, um, I, the, the uh, interesting part of that was that Best Buy had a deal where uh, they were going to uh, at least have uh, those available at the location. So you could go there at 7.30 this morning, stand in line, get a ticket, come back at 9 and buy one of them. I think they had uh, 20 people for every one video card they had buy it at uh, retail. So give you an idea, there is demand there. It's more of a supply issue. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll see you back here on Monday. Same bat's happening.